I think like a uh, lot of other things, it's a misunderstanding of what's going on. And uh, people are mixing the short term and the long term. Short term, there is far enough oil available. There is no shortage of supply. And Saudi Arabia made it very clear last week that if there is a need for additional oil on the 9.7 million, they will do it. On the top of it, they have also insisted that they can deliver more capacities in the future if, again, it's needed. So no concern about supply. So you can ask me why then? Because of the future, because of the long term. So are we stuck, therefore, with these high prices? Is there no way of bringing them back down again? We, we are not stuck. We, we need to tell people what the situation is really, i.e. short term, no problem. Long term, if we do understand well what's going on, if we do behave properly, if we don't have an antagony between environment and energy, then there will be no problem. And when they will be confident with this long-term view, because now they know it's long-term, I think the market will start to remain much more, I would say, steady and not as sensitive as it is today. But is your industry, are you making the necessary investment to deliver the oil that we'll need in 2020, 2030? We, we, are, we are making the necessary investment. We are investing uh, today more than $19 billion, which is the equivalent of our profit. And we will increase it next year and the year after. And we have a very large portfolio of uh, projects in which we can invest for the very long term. That is Total. But Total is not the only one. And the market is not done by Total, it's done by everybody. And that's where, again, there is sometimes a misunderstanding between what oil companies can do and what the energy industry can do, which by definition take into account producing countries and national oil companies. A lot of people look at the big oil companies and they say, we are paying so much for gasoline, for petrol at the pumps, and yet the big oil companies are making huge profits. Do, do you understand what they're saying there, the pressures you're under there? I mean, I, I, it's, a fair, it's a fair reaction. and. Uh, I mean, I cannot expect, and you cannot expect anything else from people. You know, they see, I mean, our profit, they see the price they have to pay at the pump. At the same time, we need to tell them that first, this money is important for investing, growing, and face the future demand. That is for the long term. Otherwise, it will be an additional concern for everybody. But to tell them what's going on today, is we have to be, again, much more explicit, much more transparent. No concern about supply, so no need to rush on getting oil. There is enough production today.